Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Ronan the Accuser, or Ronan the Pie Maker, as I call him, if anyone understands that reference, uh, in a standard difficulty. Uh, now we'll go through our setup. We have Hulk and Aggression, because we just want to uh, bash Ronan down as quickly as possible. So we put the Kree Command Ship environment in the Milano support into play. So we have the Kree Command Ship here. It's going to put a hazard icon to play. That's a first player interrupt where when a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, we can exhaust the Milano and spend one resource of any type and cancel the cards when revealed effects. So we have also the Milano in play, which we can exhaust and generate a wild resource. Looking for the setup, we attach the universal weapon to Ronan, which is here. This comes in and gives him Stalwart. And uh, we can, as a hero action, take two damage and deal ourselves one face down counter card and shuffle the universal weapon into the encounter deck. Uh, and we also attach the power stone to the first player, which we have here, which is given us plus one uh, thwart and plus one attack. And whenever a player or enemy uh, deals like three or more damage to the person with the attached power stone, they then take the stone for themselves. Uh, so let's proceed with the next stage. Oh, and um, obviously the universal weapons give Ronan plus one on each of his stats to his base two. Uh, so proceeding to 1B. We have Interception in Imminent. It threats out at seven, comes in with two, and goes up two per player each turn. Uh, Ronan himself comes in with Tough. And he has a Force Interrupt. When the, uh, he activates against you, give him one additional boost card if you control the Power Stone. And he has 14 health. Hulk on 18 as always, and we drop our five hand size and let's get into this. We have an unstoppable force, Mockingbird, Limitless Stamina, Hulk Smash, and Strength. Okay. We'll hold on to those two. I'm gonna hold on to Mockingbird as well. I'm gonna throw these two away and hope that I get a triple. A crushing blow, and boundless rage. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. Suborbital leap. We don't care about that. We will then flip up. We'll spend one resource for a crushing blow, which will deal damage to an enemy equal to our attack. So we spend a physical resource, knocks the tough off. Uh, we'll then spend three physical resources for Hulk Smash, giving us plus 10 to our attack. Uh, so we've got plus one, so we're hitting Ronan for 14, which sends him straight into stage two. Uh, so stage two comes in with tough. And uh, when revealed, we search the deck and discard half for cut the power side scheme. So we'll look for that. Oh, there it was right at the top. That puts a Christ like on the play and comes in with three threat. Shove up the encounter deck. And yeah, we're, we're ready. Oh, actually, we still have the Milano, don't we? Oh, we can't do the thing. I thought it was one of those cards where we could also do that. That's fine. We'll drop four cards. We have a Clobber, Sunfire, Drop Kick, and Thunderclap. All right, if we can get Sunfire into play next round and we keep the Milano going, we can use that as an injury source to get rid of that without it shuffling back into the deck and having to deal with the encounter card. So two threat goes on this scheme, push it to four. Ronan is going to attack us for base four. We're going to take it. And because we have the power stone, he gets an additional boost card. So four plus, uh, if this is an attack, he gets plus three. So four, five, six, seven. So seven damage comes in on us, taking us down to 11. Takes the power stone. And then we get two encounter cards. First encounter card is, we're in the Q's attack shoe of plus one, so he's hitting us for three, four, five, and six. We'll take it. Doesn't get an additional boost card this time, so six plus seven, eight. 
taking us down to three. Next encounter card. When the good attacks, the player controls the power stone, yeah, even though an alter ego form. If no attack was made this way, the card gains surge. So it gets surge because he's got the power stone. And we get a minion who has patrol. So why is engaged with us? We cannot thwart the main scheme, but we don't really care about that. All right. We are going to spend two resources to put Sunfire into play. After you uh, play Sunfire from your hand, choose to spend spend a energy resource, which we'll use the Milano for. Choose attachment with the text hero action hero response and discard it. This has that, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, we will then. Oh, sorry, and Ronan should have 18 hit points on him. We're then going to attack for two with Sunfire to knock the tough off. He takes one consequential damage. We'll then attack for three with Hulk, which gives us the Power Stone. Taking Ronan down to 15. We'll then flip down. We'll, uh, we'll experiment to research to draw a card, discard a card, just see what we get. Got limitless stamina. Uh, but we're going to throw both of these away. And ready. And we want to hope we can get Sunfire still alive and a Hulk smash, and we can just hit Ronan next turn without losing. So we're ready up. And we'll draw five cards. We have a limitless stamina, skilled strike, limitless strength, skilled strike. Yarnborn. Okay, we get uh, two threat on the main scheme here. Just going to push it to six. Uh, Ronan is now going to scheme uh, because he doesn't have the power stone. He gets the extra boost card. So it's two plus three, four. If it's attack gains piercing, five, six. So plenty to push this over the next stage. Uh, so Ronan revealed attached the power stone to run the accuser. If it was already attached, he gets a face down boost. And then we have take what is mine. Threats out at, at 10, comes in with one. And while the power stone is attached to Ronan, we can not remove threat from the scheme. But that's fine, I'm not worried about it anyway. And this guy's going to scheme for one, to push this to two. We'll get two encounter cards. So caught off guard, discard an upgrade or support you control. Uh, we can't because Milano is permanent. In fact, it should be ready. Uh, so this is going to get Surge. We're going to get the Pincer Manoeuvre. So that's going to come in and put two Acceleration Icons into play. As a Hinder 2, so it's going to be two threat per player plus three. It's five threat. And then our next card, it's a Treachery. We have a first player drop, we could... He's going to scheme for. He's going to scheme for three. So four. I think we'll be okay. We'll. So we're in alter ego. So when revealed, Ronan the accuser schemes with plus one scheme. So he's scheming for four. Plus, he only gets the one boost because he's got the power stone. So four plus one is five. So we're at seven out of ten. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have a skilled strike. Um, okay. We'll throw away our limitless strength and see what we can do here. We'll flip up into Hulk. We will attack the three. Play one skilled strike. Play two skilled strikes. Play three skilled strikes. So three. These give us plus two attack each. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Taking Ronan down to six. We get the power stone. We then attack for two with Sunfire. Taking him down to four. 
Sunfire gets knocked out. Uh, we then use Yarnborn for a limit stamina to ready. And then Hulk swings for four more damage because we've got three plus the Power Stone now for four to finish Ronan the Pie Maker off. There you have it. Hulk, strongest one there is. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, seeing him take him down. Uh, basically, I think it's the only way to do it. You know, just rush him down with aggression. Uh, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. If I did, I'll be sure to put him out in the video. But otherwise, Hulk, strongest one there is. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure if you to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll see you next time.